Hi, I'm Kim Ho. In this series, we'll be talking to people who have interesting, inspiring, or intriguing stories to tell. This week, we meet Isaac de Souza, a young man who's mad about trains. Such is his love that he has opened Singapore's first rail theme cafe, where customers can enjoy Japanese coffee and pastries and have a go at operating a train diorama that he has painstakingly built himself. Isaac's story is remarkable because he has Asperger's Syndrome, a developmental disorder on the autism spectrum. He's also been diagnosed with ADHD, dyslexia, and dyscalculia, a learning disability in math. Although he left school with only a PSLE cert, his knowledge of trains and anything connected with them is almost encyclopedic. His dogged determination to bring life to his dream despite great odds is truly inspiring. This is his story. My passion for trains, you know, borderlines on obsession. Uh. One craziest thing, spend the whole day at the station, I guess, without talking to anyone, just to wait for a particular train to come, to see if it comes. It was uh, quite isolated in the sense where I'm the only guy who, who does this sort of things and then people don't understand. It's like an outcast kind of feeling. It also uh, made me struggle a lot in my studies because I couldn't, I couldn't keep up at all. I, I didn't know a single, a single thing and then I was labelled as, you know, not smart, you know, silly or stupid and names, they call me names like this. Having these differences means that people don't always understand and people don't always accept. They decided that, you know, I'm coming to school, my time is not productive, you know, what am I doing here? I'd rather be at the train station. At least I can learn something. You know? So I left. I was only 14, but I have made this big decision. How am I going to act upon it? So I started at uh, Jurong East Station. So Jurong East is one of the most busy uh, train stations in Singapore. So the role for each station uh, for this position of service ambassador can be very different. Like in a city, maybe uh, you need to help tourists you know, with tickets. In a uh, heartland, maybe you need to control the crowds. So in my station, it was uh, just simple crowd control. My colleagues, they picked up on it. So they decided to feature me in their magazine, in an SMRT magazine. And then from there, you know, the, the media, and then soon after, even our then transport minister, Mr. Corbin Wan, he was the MP for my, my constituency. So he came down and had a look at my setup. And I had the wonderful opportunity, you know, of wearing a uniform and then showing him how to use what I built. Went there, I was fascinated by the trains. You know, the, the systems that they have, you know, it's so much more advanced. It's so much more than anything I ever seen, you know, in my life in, in, in Singapore. I, I felt that, oh, this is it, you know, I'm in the right place. So in Japan, there are these uh, rental diorama. So you can pay for an hour and you can have a track and then uh, you can play with a train which most of them bring from home. But there was one thing I noticed. For one, it is lonely and for two, it gets boring after a while. So I decided that we are going to, to, to spice it up. We're going to have cafe. They can come with friends and they can still play. 
So this is the next level of enjoyment. It's no longer just a dream anymore. The dream is far away. It's a reality now. You know, I'm running a business. You see my company, uh, Uchi Mori, it means inner loop in Japanese. So my final goal is to have a business for every station along the Yamanote line. So when we come back to Shinjuku, I would have gone around. When I left school, I did not see myself in this position. You know, the opportunities that come my way, uh, it's far better than uh, if I would have followed my peers. I think it's much better. <laughs>